Brilliant. So today on our chat on the sofa, we've got the wonderful Emily and Claire. <laughs> really good to have you both. Okay. So just start off, tell us a bit about yourselves. That'd be wonderful to hear. Should I go first? Yes. <laughs> um, okay, so I'm Claire and um, I am in the worship team at church. I love singing and worshipping. Um, I have uh, a job. I work for the council, which I do four days a week. Very, very busy role, um, which I've been working from home for um, just over a year now. So, uh, yeah, and I love I've loved walking, been appreciating the outdoors a lot more lately. And uh, so it's been really nice doing some walks together as well. And you? Um, I'm Emily. <laughs> Uh, I really enjoy drawing and art. I also like walking and I've gotten a lot more opportunities to walk, which is nice during pandemic. Um, <laughs> and I also like singing as well. <laughs> Fantastic. Taking after your mum. <laughs> <laughs> so, Obviously, on chat, I say if we're thinking about what 2020, 2021 has been like for everybody. So just tell us a bit, um, both of you, what it's been like as a family and what it's been like for each of you individually. Should I go? Yes. <laughs> I don't like it. Uh, 2020, gosh, I don't know where that's gone. <laughs> like, uh, that year just seemed to wish by, you know, swish by. But um, yeah, it's, I think for me, I can describe it as sort of a bit of a roller coaster. Uh, I think experienced lots of different emotions, very up and down. Um, yeah, it was you know, having to work from home and the challenges of homeschooling um, and just not having sort of normal life and being able to do what you can do. Um, so at the beginning, I found it very tough, very challenging. Um, yeah, it, it, mentally quite hard um, and had to work through that. Um, but actually, there were some really amazing times with the family, um, you know, having all these moments that kind of passed you by in the business of life. And, and so just kind of try and switch that a little bit more and cherish the moments that I did have with the children and, you know, with Carl um, and had some really amazing times. As I said we explored being outside a lot more, uh, you know, and being aware of what's around you and what you have and what you're blessed with. It just kind of opened your eyes a little bit more. Um, and yeah, I mean, work was really, really busy. There was a lot of response, uh, emergency response initially from the council, which had knock on effect. Uh, on various departments and things like that so um yeah that was that was pretty challenging um and sort of supporting one another as colleagues as well um you know whereas we're used to being in, in the office and then suddenly we're virtually talking to each other and and uh, working through that so that's certainly quite interesting um but yeah i think um i've, I've you know we, i certainly found the first half really really challenging uh, my mindset wasn't great, but then in the second half, um, which I can talk a bit about later, is you know I, I sort of started to look at it in a different way, and I really experienced you know God um, in a different way. Certainly when I when I started to sort of focus my mindset differently. So, um, but yeah, that was a bit of a whistle stop tour of 2020. <laughs> Try not to say too much. What about you? How's, how's 2020 for you? Um... <laughs> well challenging uh it was very hard not being able to see my friends and only being able to see them through call it's because i it's like you're not actually speaking to a real person even though you are um and homeschooling was quite hard because i've sort of like conditioned myself that like home is a place that's not work <laughs> because after school you come home and you relax but suddenly we're doing all our work at home and relaxing and it's sort of hard to adjust to completely changing your 
space of learning and working. But it, it was nice that I spent more time with my family, especially in the summer. We went out a lot and we swam in the sea a lot. <laughs> and we went for walks and, and bicycle rides. And, and I think uh, we grew a lot closer over lockdown. Oh, that's really lovely to hear. Now, what, Emily, what was school like going back in September? It was very different to what it was before. Um, all the hand sanitising and hand washing and like you can't go to the, go to the toilet one at a time and, uh, and queues, you have to be social distancing. It's, it's hard and you can't like hug any of your friends or say, hello without being two meters apart you can't play it or tag or any games like that mm. it was very very different yeah, i'm sure and going into 2021 then you were suddenly school was closed again um, and yeah. how was that and then going then you've obviously been back a few weeks now haven't you um well yeah because by the end of 2020 i'd sort of become accustomed to the new school and then we're again in lockdown um suddenly uh so it's it's very unpredictable yeah but hopefully now as we start to come out of this period of time of lockdown then hopefully you'll be at school and you won't have to not be at, yeah homeschooling again hopefully. yeah <laughs> fingers crossed no <laughs> lockdown three <laughs> So are there some things that you've learned over this time, um, things about yourselves, is your family, about God that you can share with us? Um, yes, <laughs> but there's a lot, plenty of time for uh, self-reflection and perhaps a bit too much. Um, but yeah, I think, I think for me, as I said, that the first one that I had this kind of mindset that you know, it's going to go and it's just going to be short and God's going to just, you know, swoop in and which you can, you know, I'm not saying he can't, but there was this kind of hope that, you know, yeah. you just take it all away. Everyone was saying originally it, it sort of went, everyone was like, oh, it only last three months. And then after three months was over, they were like, oh, it only last six months and so on. Yeah. And so you, you're kind of in that mindset. And, and then I think the longer it, it carried on, you then sort of, oh, you know, there's this like realization that sinks in and you've got to make some decisions, you know, about how you're, you, you need to be because you've got, you can't control the situation. You can't control what's going on. And for me, that's quite difficult. It's certainly a lesson that I'm learning that, you know, I, I try to control everything and solve things and, and suddenly you're out of control. You, you, there's nothing you can do. And um it, it kind of throws you in, in one of two ways you know you can kind of go into despair and sorrow or, or you can kind of throw yourself on God and I think I went through several journeys really I think at, at first when I realized it was going longer I did have several battles where I thought oh you know you go into that despair and then of you know the last few months I think although it is tough and I've had moments of real like you know wow what's what is this about what's going on you know, someone said to me, like, Claire, you know, sometimes you can't change the situation, but just ask what God is doing in that situation. You know, what, what can he do in you? Use the opportunity to get closer to him or seeing what he wants to do in you. And so I've started to, as what I said before about, I tried to just change my mindset instead of saying, well, you know, what's happening? This is horrible. And, you know, you start to get a bit anxious. And it's instead, I sort of just try to see what is God doing and, and how is he um, wanting me to grow more and actually use this opportunity to grow in faith and to grow in, in seeing, you know, who he is in a different way. Because nothing is wasted with him. Every situation, every season, it's, he's always in control. And that's what I'm learning more and more, that he is steadfast. It's a word that I've really been hearing a lot at the moment. It's steadfast, that he is steadfast, but he also wants our hearts to be steadfast and enduring. Um, but sometimes he is teaching us to endure through those times in finding places of worship, of prayer, despite of 
feeling like that or despite going through pain so that's what I've you know that I had to you know to start with I was in a very different mindset I was really struggling with it it was really really tough and then as I you know carried on you have choices to make and you've got to guard your heart the wellspring of life and I've I needed to say right okay you know you've got to guard your heart you, you can't carry on that way you've, you've really got to you know um guard your thoughts and your heart so I just started to just really fix my eyes on Jesus a lot more um and learning that even whatever season that we're in he never changes and he's always the same um and I shared this picture with Emily the other day when we had this session in the worship about how God gave me a picture of a tandem bike um, and actually I've been really thinking about it you know for the last few weeks quite a lot that actually in every whatever season you're in whatever terrain you're going through you know whatever pain or joy he's always on that tandem bike riding with you um he's never left he's just that constant presence um and it's just whether my eyes are fixed on him in that moment in time you know or am I trying to do the controlling or am I letting him doing the controlling um, and there's just one other thing that's really been in my mind lately, something that Pete said when he preached about the, Jesus in the boat and uh, the disciples and the storms are going all around, the storms going all around them. And he said one sentence again, which has been really jumping out at me, is that Jesus is in the same boat. And it's like that saying, you know, we're in the same boat, you know, and it's, it's quite a well-known saying, you know, we're all in the same boat. But when that was so powerful, he said that Jesus is in the same boat. And as we're traveling through this storm, whatever, you know, however we react to it, he's in that boat and he's that constant, um, that constant presence with us. So, um, yeah, it's definitely a journey and one that I'm learning and I'm traveling on. But I don't, I want to do it with him, not against him. And uh, just, yeah, just seeing what he's got more and more. Uh, Brilliant. Yeah. What about you, Emily? You've learned from that um, from your experience. <laughs> well, there's so many different opinions about everything. It's very hard to make a decision. Um, <laughs> and there's so many different places, sources, things, and it's it's just you have to trust in God. Really, you have to place your faith in him and see where it takes you fantastic <laughs> it's kind of like on a tandem really <laughs> different <laughs> terrain <laughs> yeah he's he's the one constant thing that never changes isn't he so, yeah. yeah in such an uncertain world and when we've had things just well i think the first lockdown just thrown into it weren't we and we all thought oh it won't be long and then it went on and on and on <laughs> <laughs> and the whole year just keeps changing like for you Emily school for you work like Claire for work like you obviously had to adjust and yeah and just knowing God is that constant through it all is mm. really good <laughs> yeah so are there some things that you're really looking forward to as restrictions lift what are you looking forward to going out with my friend <laughs> just being able to like just go maybe to a park or the shops and just yeah and not being out having to wear masks because i know it's it's helping but it's also not very nice to be in a mask mm. but so yeah just shops opening and life returning to normal maybe a different kind of normal but normal -ish, ish yeah <laughs> Yeah, I think it'd just be nice to be with friends again and have that close fellowship and hug someone. And um, I think I look forward to just hearing everybody sing together in such a powerful way and just how that it just lifts the atmosphere. And I know it's not about singing and, you know, and I certainly at the moment, that's another thing. God is really teaching me about different aspects of, aspects of worship. And how actually when we've been in church and people have been wearing masks and not singing, but I felt such a tangible presence of God and sensing people's hearts to worship. Um, but there's just something so powerful about being in a room and everyone's just singing and just worshipping. And um, 
so yeah really look forward to when you know we can do that in church again and also just yeah have barbecues and hang out with friends and um you know and, and just love a barbecue don't they yeah we do we've had three already <laughs> we've had winter ones you know we just love barbecues <laughs> Yeah. Why not? <laughs> yeah. So I know, yeah, it's just been nice to be with people again and and um you know and yeah, I really pray that you know that the the there is such an opportunity for for just hope to be released so that people don't live in fear afterwards, that there isn't this residue of fear where people are still a little bit distant from each other, you know, and, and just really praying that somehow, you know, that yeah Jesus can just break through like we've got all these wonderful things like medicine and vaccinations and you know it's amazing how a lot of people are putting all their hope you know on, on these things and just yeah really want Jesus to stand above all of that really um and that there's still opportunity for his name to be glorified in all of these things you know um so but yeah just yeah looking forward to just yeah being with people again and <laughs> well I've got quite used to working from home it's quite it's quite nice sometimes <laughs> <laughs> there are there are definite positives of working from home so. like you can wear your pajamas <laughs> <laughs> not that I wear my pajamas well not yeah. on a meeting call I hope <laughs> no 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 certainly not from the top half <laughs> <laughs> yeah it's a short commute I guess isn't it <laughs> yeah yeah I mean it's nice to see people but sometimes it's it's just nice to have that flexibility and you know I think I think an element of both worlds really we can have meet with people again at work but also have that flexibility to work from home and it's been really successful for a lot of people where I work you know um so yeah things I think imagine the long term will look very different um you know in terms of work so yeah it'd be interesting <laughs> things will definitely have changed after lockdown I mean, we won't go straight back to not the same way. There'll be differences, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, for the good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think you're right, Emily. <laughs> oh, well, thank you so much, both of you. I wondered if we could just finish by praying. I don't know if either of you or both of you would like to pray just about the things you've been talking about to do with God and just like about hope, the hope aspect as well, Claire. I think that's a really good thing. Yeah. Did you want to say that? Would you? Do you want me to? Yeah. Okay, I'll pray. <laughs> um, yeah. Thank you, Father, for your lavish grace and your love and your steadfast, constant presence with us. That whatever storms of life and uncertainty, um, instability, you're the one stable thing that never changes. And that sometimes we can go up and down and you're just so full of grace and patience and if we keep our eyes fixed on you if we stay close to the source of strength of joy we can just soar on wings like eagles we know that there is just so many levels of your presence of your power that we just keep our eyes on you and i just thank you for that steadfastness lord that you are placing in each one of us stronger foundations just steadfast, enduring faith that will stead us through whatever we may face in the future um, as families, as church, as the body and the bride of Christ, that you are creating those sure and strong foundations in you. And just release that steadfastness and release that peace in the storms to know that you are in the same boat as us and you're riding on that tandem bicycle with us and you never, ever leave us. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for being on that journey with us. And may we just be more and more aware of your presence with us. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 Excellent. Thank you so much, both of you. It's been wonderful chatting with you. Amazing. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you.